going to cover a hardback book. So when you have a hardback book, you're going to take the cover, open it up full, and you're going to take your fancy, fancy uh, cover, and you're going to measure it, and you're going to cut right at the end of where that page would go. So now you have the space that you need. What it looks like. Yep. So you're gonna have matches. Yep. And then you're gonna slide it in there. And you're gonna make sure that the cover, the the color part of your cover is facing the outside where the clear part is. So I'll show you when we get this tucked under. If you turn it around, you'll see that the cover is gonna go like that. Over. Make sure it's over. And you look very closely. This paper has little teeny tiny dots. You're gonna, if you, yeah, you can kind of see where the where the cover is, and it like will match up with those dots. And then you're gonna fold that paper down where those dots are. Now, when you do, you're gonna see a little bit of it hanging out. That's okay. You're gonna push it way down, down, down. You flip it over so they can see. You're mm -hmm. gonna constantly be checking this. When you turn it over, you need to make sure that there is no white showing. Can you show them what it will look like if a little bit of white is showing? Sure. So if you do it wrong, this is wrong when you see white showing. You want to have zero white showing. It should only be the color. Let me show you again. That's exactly what's correct. Okay, so it has no white showing. Fold it down in there, and you're gonna keep messing with it until it's all the way down. Keep folding it back over so you can make sure that there's no white showing. When there's no white showing, you're gonna crease that top piece. You're just gonna take a little piece of tape and boop, put it on there. One on one side, one on the other. It's really important that that's creased down nice. So when you turn it around, you'll see that there is nothing showing on the bottom and no white showing on the top. Now, on the edges, that doesn't matter because the edges are going to be folded over. But the top and the bottom, zero white showing. Okay, you're going to put your book in there. And you're going to make sure that your book, open it up, make sure the words are facing the right way. Make sure that your cover is facing the right way. Done. You're just going to lay it in there just like you would a regular cover. But here's the deal, you're pushing, 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 and making sure ugh, that that cover is nice and tight, okay? That there's no extra gaps, that it's nice and tight on there. And how we keep it there is a little piece of tape. Now we use this very special tape that has fibers in the tape. So you, oh man. we can't find <laughs> there it. There it is, there it is. Hold it out. Can we look at that closely? You can see that there's like fibers in that tape. Obviously, at home, you're not going to have this kind of tape, so you don't need to worry about it. You're just going to use scotch tape, and you just need teeny tiny little strips. You need four of them. So, four strips. There we go. Four strips. Book. You're going to take the top, you're going to open that top just a hair, slide it in between the cover and the actual hard back of the book. You're gonna carefully open it up, keeping it tight and snug, and then fold it ever so carefully right on the inside. So if you open it up, you're gonna see that it's showing there, but if you close the book, you can't see it because it's tucked underneath. And you're gonna do that for all four corners of this book. You're gonna make sure it's tight. Keep keeping your fingers on there, tight. And then let's look at the, this part right here. You're gonna notice that there's no gaps. It's nice and tight. When you close it, it's not folding open huge. Okay, you're gonna do that for the other side. Do it for the front. Now we're gonna do it for the back. There we go. Make sure it's nice and snug. You want that cover to fit nice and snug over top of your hardbacks so it doesn't get damaged when it's inside somebody's locker or their backpack or wherever they're, they're at. And again, there you go. So you can't, if you're looking on the outside of the book, you cannot see that tape anywhere. It's only on the inside, but you will see a little bit top and bottom right there and in the inside. That's it. All right.
Now you know how to wrap a hardback book.